Hi, I'm Skylar. Unlike a computer, iPhone doesn't have multiple user accounts. So you couldn't have one set of preferences for one person and then log out of it and sign back into another person. But it does have an Apple ID and an iCloud account, things like that. So while you can't sign out of all of the different services on mass, you could sign out of them individually. For example, let's say uh, my brother gives me his old iPod Touch and I get a message that one of the apps has to be updated. Then I tap on it to update it and it asks me for his Apple ID password. Well, that's a problem, is it? Because I don't necessarily have it. So here's how you would go about changing that. Slide to unlock and tap settings. Under settings, scroll down until you see iTunes and app stores. Tap it. And right up here at the top, it says Apple ID. Tap that and then sign out. After that, you'll see an option to sign in or to create a new Apple ID. Once you've either signed in or created a new ID, the applications that were previously installed on the phone will stay there, but you won't be able to update them or make in-app purchases, things like that. So if you like those applications, it might be best to use the new Apple ID that you input and download them again from the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Skylar.